The boat ride from hell was last week. And finally oh, boat ride from hell, yeah. Uh, Are you glad that it's in the rear view, that the, the airing of it is in the rear Well, view? listen, you know, um, Cartagena is a beautiful city, and I loved it. Uh, we just didn't have a lot of luck there. First of all, um, we almost got killed on a boat. Second of all, my cell phone got stolen. Third of all, we all got sick, um, really sick, from s some of the food that we ate there. So it was, it was a trip from hell, really. <laughs> Does some of the trivial housewife stuff, does some of it seem inconsequential now that you're kind of yeah. dealing with these bigger, bigger life issues? All right. You know, listen, everybody's got their issues. Some people got to wear diapers. Some people need their eyelashes done. I'm just trying to not drink today. You know, at this point in Cartagena, I think I've been sober in like two months or 60 days. So, uh, so it was fun kind of being the spectator in the drinking room. What was the most telling thing that you noticed being this? Well, I mean, you know, what was very telling was what happened with Dorinda to me. I mean, it's like somebody sucker punched me because, you know, Dorinda's a friend of mine and it, and it really, really hurt me. What she said to me, I wouldn't say to my worst enemy. All I said to Dorinda was, Hi, darling, you're starting to get aggressive. And you saw her reaction. So that says it all to me. I love Dorinda. It's very upsetting me to watch her become somebody else. Do you think that down the road that there is there's hope for the two of you? Yeah, you know, listen, Dorinda is an old friend of mine. When you get hurt, I think you need time to rip the Band-Aid off. I'm not ready to rip the Band-Aid off yet. The season finale is, you know, I get arrested. I had a hell of a year and I get on stage after a month of rehearsal and that wasn't easy. I mean, it took all of my chagrin to get up on stage, you know, after what I've been through. Uh, and I was scared. I tend to go towards things that scare the hell out of me because it makes me feel triumphant. <laughs> so I was scared, to say the least. And um, so I couldn't be happier that it went well. For me, it means everything. You know, I went to see Cheetah Rivera the other night doing a cabaret at 54 Below, where my show is. And um, that's kind of my home in New York, is 54 Below. And I must say, I saw Cheetah Rivera, she's 85. And I said, wow. I can do this till I'm 85 years old. I really feel like I found my calling and the shows are selling out. CountessLuann.com, you can find tickets online still. So I want everyone to come and see it.